beautiful people welcome back to my page precious does i am precious and today we are going to look at some monstera adansonii i actually have two of them these are literally some of my favorite plants i've had them for a while they were probably the third and fourth that i purchased when i really really got into plants now this one this is my Monstera Adansonii narrow form. And it has really narrow leaves. But it, I actually had this plant in my bedroom. And it, it wasn't receiving enough light. So what I did was I moved it out. Actually, I've moved it a few times. The first place I put it was in my living room. Where it could get a lot more light. But it just, it wasn't thriving. It wasn't doing anything hardly. But I tell you what, I moved it into my kitchen. And this plant, it actually, when I first put it in there, it's a more south, like a southeastern facing window. But, and it got burnt. It got burnt at first. You really shouldn't use direct sunlight on these plants. They prefer bright and direct sunlight. But this, unfortunately, was the brightest window in my home. But it, as you can see, it took off. And unfortunately, most of the growth is on this one side. But it literally, it took off. You can see it. It's so pretty. And they have these little fenestrations. You can see some of them. Beautiful little holes. And they, um, this plant is actually called the Swiss cheese plant also. And you can understand why, because of the little holes that the leaves have there. That's a really good one. That one has a lot of really nice holes. But I don't do too much to this plant. I did try some commercial fertilizers when I first got it. Hence, these yellow leaves. They got burnt. And I wanted to pull them off. I just wanted to show you guys. I kind of messed up at one point. It's been a learning process for sure. But, um, and again, this one was burnt by, di by direct sunlight. But I have it sitting on a pebble tray. And it's in my kitchen window. Gets a lot of humidity. I pretty much, I let it get almost completely dry before I water it. So I pretty much stick my finger down in the soil. Like completely down in there. And if it's dry about halfway down through the pot, I'll go ahead and water her. I don't use, um, I do not water her with water straight from the faucet. I usually let my water sit for a few days so that the chlorine can dissipate. And I'm going to move her out of the way so we can see somebody else. Because she is just, she is just looking for all the attention right now. I'm going to have to get a longer pole, a taller pole because she has definitely outgrown her pole. I mean, she is going way up here and it's just got this poor little pole just dangling. But my next Monstera Adansonii that I wanted to show you guys is my wide form. And you will know, just by looking at these leaves, why it's called the wide form. It is so beautiful. It has some smaller leaves, just because I don't have optimal conditions in my home. But these are the larger leaves here. And they are almost literally as large as my hand. They are beautiful. Beautiful little fenestrations like Swiss cheese. And again, this is the wide form here. There's another really beautiful leaf there. And I actually gave this plant some, um, I sprayed it with some foyer, a fertilizer. It's organic, but I think maybe I might have overdone it because it developed some, some yellowing on the edges. And then here also is from the commercial fertilizer that I wish I hadn't used. I'll go ahead and pluck that out now. I had this one up on a pole, but it just wasn't it wasn't climbing the way I wanted to wanted it to climb. So I ended up putting her up, and I have her hanging now, and she just hangs. I mean, her vine is probably about. At least three, maybe a little over three feet. It's just a beautiful plant. 
beautiful plant. Now, these plants do like warm environments. They like humidity, of course, because they are tropical plants. They are epiphytic in the wild, so they like to climb up things like trees, for example. They do prefer moss poles, but again, this one just, it wasn't doing, it wasn't cutting it for me. So I went ahead and put her back down and let her hang. Alright. They like warmer temperatures again. At least 65 to 75 degrees. We're going to see how she does this winter. But hopefully, hopefully she'll make it. I'll try to keep it pretty warm in here. Alright. Now they are toxic to pets. As most of these, these types of plants are. So I wouldn't let your pet, your, your cats or dogs chew on them or anything. Even though I do, I'm going to show you in a minute what a puppy did to my plant. But yeah, she is just, she's been growing her little behind dog. Now, um, again, I did want to focus on the Edinsonia eyes today, but I will give you guys a sneak peek at my Monsteras. I have two Monstera Deliciosas. And this is the baby here. This is the baby of the family. She is been growing really well also she's even i had to move her because she wasn't she wasn't developing the fenestrations like i wanted these are old this, this is the older leaf and then i kind of over fertilized her as well I got some yellowing leaves and then she got a beautiful leaf beautiful but guess what happened to her my child decided to get a puppy and let not pay attention to the puppy. So, puppy decided my plant looked like a very good chew toy. And we've since remedied that problem. But I also want to show you guys this Monstera. And I don't know how I'm going to get it up into the camera. But she is huge. This, this plant here. This was my first Monstera. This was the one that I prayed for and I drove for. And I drove and drove and I looked around and I googled and everything. This is my Monstera Deliciosa. My older one. She has beautiful leaves. Beautiful fenestrations. Besides the, the couple of leaves that my the, the puppy chewed up. I did um, this is again this is one of the leaves that didn't make it so well also I think it got burned by a little extra fertilizer I have to really be careful with this plant I mean it's easy going I pretty much have learned to just leave it alone because at first I, I think I was really doing too much but I've learned to just leave this plant alone let her be don't do too much here's another one of her beautiful leaves beautiful well, guys, I hope you have enjoyed my Monsteras, my Adansonii, as, as well as my Deliciosas. I hope you guys go out and get your own if you haven't already. Um, let's see here. I mean, that's that. See you guys next time. Thank you again for supporting my channel. I hope you guys stay safe. Hope your families are safe and healthy. And I will see you guys next time on Precious Dust.